When I trained with the Flow Genome Projects on their Flow Fundamentals online course, I was exposed to some great definitions around flow. And many of them I heard before in different ways, but one really stuck for me about using this quick mnemonic, STIR. It's not particularly catchy in terms of the actual letters, but S, T, E, and R. And I think it's important just to have this on your radar because then you can spot this almost like an indicator. You know, carry this rock around with you, this reminder of when you spot this in your life and work, then you know that you perhaps you're on the edge of that flow zone. And then you can go into it in more detail if you like. So S, T, E and R. S is for selfless. T is for timeless. E is for effortless and R is for richness. So that selfness is that you lose yourself, selfless, in the activity that you do. And you forget about your, your own physical body sometimes in terms of risk. You just get so much into the zone, you just lose track of, of you and that self. And sometimes either, I often find I lose track of other people. I was presenting the other day and I just, I, we were wearing a headset because it was mic'd up. And I just felt a few minutes into the presentation, I just could feel I was in this headset zone. I couldn't really sense myself. And even the audience, you kind of forget they're there sometimes. So that's the selfless. Timeless, where well, we've got the watch on here. That's the classic where time dilates. We've talked about that quite a lot. Either speeds up or slows down. Just really not aware of that time. Go, oh my gosh, I've been here two hours. Or actually, has that really taken 20 minutes? It feels like I've been here two hours. So speed up or slow down. But that's a good indicator of when you lose track of time, whichever way that goes, up or down, that you're in flow or could be in flow. Again, to notice these triggers, these indicators to move forward. Uh, the E is the effortless, the grace, the ease at which it comes to do something perhaps that is, to, is without thought really, because sometimes the thought, because the brain shuts down a little bit in flow, which is contrary to what people think, you think it would activate and heighten. Actually that effortlessness, you do something that perhaps sometimes you find the real effort to it and sometimes you just do it and go. So there's, there's quite good examples of that where you feel in that flow, in that zone. And the R is the richness. The richness is an interesting one. I often get this in the environment around me. So what, what do you notice that is rich and of, you know, of value? So it might be what someone said. It might be noticing for the first time the contribution someone makes in the meeting, actually the richness in their contribution, the richness in the meeting, the richness in the environment, the, the value of that environment. Certainly being nature is great because it ping. There's so much richness here. But do you see it? Are you in, in flow enough, in the zone enough to actually see it? Whether that's stopping and noticing, whether that's just using the senses, because otherwise we're sleepwalking and tunnel vision, you don't see it and notice it. So there you go, S, T, E and R indicators, A, to define what flow is, and B, more practically, to think about, well, I'm ticking some of these boxes, how can that help me engineer flow so I have more of it? Because ultimately that's what we want. We want more of it. It's a good thing. We want more.